What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. In today's video we'll be covering TOEFL integrated writing. The writing question that makes you read something for three minutes and then makes you listen to a lecture. Yeah, that one. So please take out your notebooks, grab your writing utensil and get ready to take some outstanding notes. So change the L to an R because it's supposed to be the reading's opinion. One for the first body paragraph, two for the second and three for the third. Okay, so this is your note taking diagram for the reading and the lecture. Okay, because both of them has have an opinion and three different parts. Understand? Now let's go to my laptop and look at the reading passage together. Now, like always, we're going to be reading from the bottom up from the last sentence. Okay, so let's take a look at this sentence first. However, a research project in the 1970s at the University of Georgia showed promise that chimpanzees have the ability to learn language just like human children do. Okay, so the reading's opinion is that chimpanzees have the ability to learn a language. So the topic is whether or not chimpanzees are capable of learning a language. So the listening, the professor is going to say that chimpanzees do not possess the capability to learn a language. Okay, all right. So we can understand and kind of figure out those three things by just looking at this single sentence. Okay, now let's look at the first body paragraph. The project used several chimpanzees as test subjects, among which Lana, a female chimp, was the study's focus. Since the primates lack the vocal constructions to make human speech patterns, the researchers created a language called Yerkish using lexigram blah 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 blah. She successfully expressed her thoughts by pressing different keys in succession. In some cases, she used up to seven at a time. Okay, so the reading's first reason and major point is that Lana, which was the uh, chimpanzee that was the main focus of the research that was conducted in where? The University of Georgia. Utilized a new language called Yerkish, which was made up by researchers. And she was able to successfully communicate with the scientists by pressing many buttons in order, in the proper order. So the first body paragraph is showing how Lana was able to at least learn and eventually utilize a language called Yerkish. Okay. Now, obviously, I think the main point that the professor is going to kind of argue against is that this is not a real language. It's a language that is made up of symbols and one that's uh, was created by the researchers. So that's kind of problematic. Okay, now let's take a look at the second body paragraph. While Lana's ability to communicate was somewhat uh, limited by using the keyboard, the researchers insisted the chimp was able to form the basis of language ability. She could form word combinations and even distinguish between nouns and adjectives. Okay, so I think that's all we need here. All right, so the reading's second reason and main point is that Lana was able to form the basis of language ability due to the fact that she formed word combinations and even distinguished between nouns and adjectives. So that's kind of special because it tells, it at least shows that Lana is able to utilize uh, different words for different purposes uh, when and if she thinks she needs to. So that's kind of optimistic. All right, now let's take a look at the last paragraph. When asked questions by the researchers, Lana could respond. The questions were put into the lexigram machine and Lana seemed to understand what was being asked. She then would reply by using the keyboard to give seemingly logical answers. While the communication was limited, the researchers believed the Lana experiment proved that some primates, okay, blah, blah, blah. All right, now the readings. Third reason and main point is that Lana was able to even respond to the questions that the researchers asked, albeit she had to use the lexigram machine. Um, therefore, this is evidence that chimpanzees, or Lana at least, has the ability to understand what was being asked. Okay, so I think the main point of the reading passage that the professor is going to rebuttal is how Lana was only able to learn, absorb, and utilize the language, a fake language called Yerkish, a man-made language. Actually, all languages are man-made, but the problem here is that Yerkish is, was made by the researchers specifically for this project, and it's comprised of symbols. I think that's the main point, the main problem here. All right, now that we're done with the reading passage, let's go over to the lecture. 
It's a well-documented fact that animals have the ability to communicate with one another by using sounds and pheromones. However, the notion that animals can actually talk with humans has yet to be fully proved. While there have been some minor breakthroughs in communications with primates, they are limited in nature and have been treated with skepticism by most of the scientific community. Lana, the female chimp from the University of Georgia, is the most celebrated case. Lana learned the new language Yerkish, which was comprised of symbols and managed to communicate with the researchers. Or so it appeared. Remember that Lana was limited in her ability to learn and was in fact conditioned by endless repetition of the same words and symbols. Unlike a human child, which can learn multiple languages if exposed to them, Lana had difficulty learning even one. Lana could understand some grammar, but it was so basic that she could only manage to create uh, a few short sentences. She and the other test subjects never even advanced beyond the beginning level of language learning. The chimps couldn't form sentences on their own unless first exposed to them by the research team. Unlike humans who can absorb and understand complex grammar, the primates in the study never did the same. The primates did learn to respond to human questions, but these answers weren't in speech form. They were translated in Yerkish as symbols. These so-called conversations were passive, with primates like Lana responding, yet not being able to form their own questions or to have long conversations. Nor could the primates communicate with each other. At least, there was no recognizable form of communication. This is much unlike human children, who can do so at an early age. All right, now let's take a look at my notes. The professor said in the beginning of the lecture that the notion that primates or chimpanzees can talk with humans has yet to be fully proved because they are limited in nature. So they are naturally limited. That's what this means. Okay, now for the first argument, the professor said that Lana learned a new language called Yerkish, which was comprised of symbols and was able to communicate with the researchers. But since she was so limited in her abilities, she had to be conditioned by endless repetitions of the same words and symbols, okay? So basically what happened to Lana is she didn't actually learn the language. She just memorized different pictures, okay? As a result, unlike human beings, Lana had a lot of difficulties even learning one language, okay? Or learning even one language. All right, now for the second argument, the professor said that, Lana understood only basic grammar and was able to form only short sentences. Therefore, she and the other chimps in the research project never advanced beyond the beginning level of language learning, since they were not able to form their own sentences without the help of the researchers. Needless to say, unlike human beings, Lana was not able to understand or absorb complex grammar. So that's the second argument. All right, now, for the third argument, the professor said that Lana only answered the researchers' questions in Yerkish and symbols. Uh, plus, uh, this shouldn't be a so, I'm going to change it to plus. Plus, they were only able to hold passive and brief conversations due to the fact that Lana could not form her own questions and keep the conversation going, obviously. Uh, besides, uh, none of the chimps in the research project seem to communicate with each other by speaking or uh, through a language that's comprehensible. Understand? Okay, now that we know what I took notes on the lecture, let's go to my laptop and look at my sample essay when I'm done typing it. Let's go. All right, now let's take a look at my sample essay. The reading passage and lecture have conflicting opinions about whether or not certain primates have the ability to communicate with others by using language. The article strongly postulates that a research project conducted at the University of Georgia provided evidence that chimpanzees are capable of learning and using a language. On the other hand, the listening adamantly delineates that the notion that chimps can talk with humans has yet to be fully proved as they are limited in nature. Okay, let's move on to the first body paragraph. First and foremost, according to the author of the excerpt, Lana, which was the female chimpanzee that was the focus of the research project, 
showed that she could not only learn, but also utilize a language called Yerkish, which was created by the researchers and comprised of symbols. Lana successfully voiced her opinions by pressing numerous buttons in the correct order, meaning that she understood how to use this language. Nonetheless, the lecturer offsets these points by declaring that, although Lana was able to effectively interact with the researchers by learning Yerkish, she was still extremely limited in her abilities. Therefore, in reality, Lana was conditioned by endless repetitions of the same words and symbols, which is not how humans learn languages. Needless to say, unlike young children, Lana had many difficulties learning even one language. So very different, not the same. Okay, let's move on to the second body paragraph. The professor in the listening further asserts that Lana was only able to understand basic grammar and create short sentences without the assistance of the researchers at the University of Georgia. I didn't have to type at the University of Georgia, but I just felt like doing it because it's the first sentence of the second body paragraph. Okay, let's keep looking. It goes without saying that she failed to advance beyond even the beginning level of language learning because she could not form her own sentences throughout the research project. Consequently, unlike humans, Lana was not able to understand or absorb complex grammar. These claims refute the writer's implications of how Lana's ability to form various word combinations and tell the difference between nouns and adjectives supported the belief that chimpanzees can learn to use a language. Okay, now the last body paragraph. The article lastly points out that Lana had the capability to form responses when asked questions by the researchers. In other words, the researchers were very optimistic because she showed signs of comprehension and provided coherent answers by using the lexigram machine. The speaker in the lecture counters these indications by pointing out that Lana only answered the researchers' questions in Yerkish and symbols, not real words. Besides, Lana and the researchers were only able to hold passive and brief conversations due to the fact that she could not form her own questions and keep the dialogue going. Last but not least, the primates in the research project never communicated with one another by speaking or using a language. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's my sample essay. Um, once again, please take my sample essay as if it were the answer sheet. This is not the kind of essay that you're expected to write or submit at the real test. So don't feel bad, don't feel discouraged if your essay, if your integrated essay doesn't look like mine. Because, I mean, honestly, if it does, you, you shouldn't be watching this video. Writing is not something that should concern you if you're able to already write essays like mine, okay? So this is the answer sheet. It's uh, most of the lecture's information. It's basically all of the important pieces of information in the reading passage. So yeah, compare your essay to mine and uh, try to understand why you missed bits and pieces of information, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, that just about wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed the sample essay and the question, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you still have not done so. The next video will be covering TOEFL independent speaking, so if those questions are very difficult, please stay tuned and be sure to check it out. Peace out and happy holidays.